It's Tuesday, March the 7th. Smith Allen, we can. And we're uh, back here at Wetland 47, where they came in and removed their bridge through the wetland. And there's part of it still sitting here. But uh, still, no silk fencing anywhere, just as it was yesterday, just as it's been for the last couple weeks. Oh, they've, they've put one piece up. But all these tracks that you see here is from equipment running through here. It's not just a little four-wheel drive golf cart thing running through the wetland. Um, there's a couple pieces of equipment up on the hill there. Their tractors for their seating have gone through here as well. Um, don't know how they did all that smoothing without being on plank boards because I believe it's required for you to be on a plank board when you go through a wetland. You know, they've proven that they can't do it without them because they get stuck. But there's the Sandhill Crane as she sits every day, all day long on her nest. It's a real shame what they've done. But it's a real, even more of a shame of what they've done to this wetland. Because when they went through here, this area right here, with their pipe, they were a good nine, ten foot deep. Um, that would have been basically the bottom of our wetland. But you see the bottom now, it's above ground. No water. So they've filled in our wetland with material that allows them to drive through it. Um, proof to me that this wetland was deeper than it is, is this side over here. This area right here is still kind of mucky. Now they're able to just drive through it. But this whole area should be nine or ten foot deep of water and the natural parts of a wetland. Not the mixed up soils that they mix this with. And I can only imagine they're going to be back here today, but I don't know that I can be here to videotape them and their destruction. Because I promise you, this is not back to the grade that this wetland was to start with. Because <laughs> this was one of the deepest areas. And I don't know about those two holes out there that have water in the distance. But I know what the, where this was. Man, it's amazing that they get away with this and, be, and claim to be putting it back as good as new. Huh. And they can't tell me they didn't have equipment down in here because those are bulldozer tracks or track hoe tracks, one of the two, down in the wetland with no planking. Because <sighs> if there had been planking, there wouldn't be tracks. Like I say, the time I was here yesterday, there wasn't any, there was nothing but machine operators here. And I guess they trust the machine operators to stay out of the wetland. Wow. <laughs> this just drives me freaking crazy. That Still no safety anything on top of these. These are washers they left behind. And I'm going to assume these are the stakes they put up yesterday. It's got the orange paint on it. And uh, this is where I'm going to assume they're claiming the edge of the wetland is. But I know originally it was further down that way on the other side of that wad of wire with another steel post without a safety cap on it. Because the soap fencing was a lot further down. Oh, man. 
because the plank boards ran almost to where that gray container is over there outside of their work zone but this is the tracks so they're they're definitely in the wetland without plank boards and we don't know what's on their tracks or what's falling off of their tracks and the clumps of grease that are on their tracks and it just gets squashed in and then they'll run a bulldozer over a bunch of it mix it all up so it won't be found the parts per million will be reduced but over time those parts per million all end up in our wetland and the residues from end up in the water wow and another close-up of the poor sandhill crane that gets to live in this because they come back to the same place every year to nest now they may nest in a different location because of the water table but they usually nest out in the water because they're protecting their eggs from the other animals that can get to them well at this point animals can get to their eggs so we'll probably see a reduction in the sandhill crane population which is a threatened and endangered species freaking unbelievable these clumps of mud you see or what falls off the tracks well that's kind of the same thing that happens to big chunks of grease that fall off their tracks I believe that would be why they're not supposed to go into wetlands the way they have and you see the real deep hole it's undoubtedly the last places they pulled their plank boards out and trust me you see the broken pieces in the video that I did yesterday you see them just push them down into the wetland now I'd like to know how they're gonna get to their tractors and how they're gonna get the the uh, little there's a trencher up there for putting the silk fencing back up or a trencher attachment how are they gonna get the machine back here with no more plank boards Yep, go around outside of the work zone. They just drove through the wetland. That explains how they're going to get men back here anyway. But they just drove right through there. And up to the tractors. Huh. Funny what you find when you get out early in the morning. Get out here, pop the hood, service it, do whatever you want. This is a location that right over there where those trees are was a no refueling sign. But of course, all that's been taken down now. But he's got the hood popped open. You yeah, can't really tell what he's doing. But it's a form of maintaining machinery in an area that you weren't allowed to refuel. I guess you can... You know add oil or add fluids don't know that that's what he's doing but it's pretty obvious he's doing some type of could be just checking the oil <laughs> but it's all in areas that I have grave concern for what hits the ground <laughs> 